you have already learned how to express a functional interface using lambda expressions. Java 8 also introduces a double colon operator using which we can map methods and constructors to a functional interfaces method. For example, here I have a functional interface with one single method called say hello that takes a string and returns a string as well. We then can express this functional interface using a lambda expression or within our class we can define a method which takes the same argument and we implement that method. We then can map inside our main method we can map this method we have implemented to the functional interfaces method using the double colon operator. Since this is a instance method we first need to create an object and then using that object and the double colon operator we are mapping this implementation to the functional interface. We can then invoke i dot say hello and automatically the implementation inside this method will be used. This is method reference. This method need not be a instance method or object method. It can also be a static method. If it is a static method then we will simply use the class. Class name double colon my method to reference the method. The only rule that we need to follow is that the method that we are implementing should take the exact same argument as the method in the functional interface. The name need not be the same, the return type need not be the same, even the access modifiers like public, private, etc. need not be the same. The only rule is the method argument types should be same. So in this lecture you have learned that you can map method implementations to the methods in functional interfaces using the double colon operator. If we implement that method in our class as an instance method, we need to create an object and then do the mapping. If it is a static method, we can implement a static method as well. Although the method in the functional interface is not static, in that case we use the class name to map.